it is an complete course project please learn them in order this is part 3 lighting okay now we want to make light our scene so before we start lighting you need to set the camera view it's really important so click space bar in keyboard so that means you got four views so i want only two views here i want to set my camera view here i want to set my perspective view so i will click and drag on this one so now you want to create an camera go to rendering and click on create cam so it automatically created in center of grid so now i want to scale this one press power and scale big so now go to panels perspective and choose camera one so now you want to adjust the camera over here so like this so i want to set like this so because my camera will start over here and end up with straight so first of all you want to make like this so go to view camera settings and choose over scan and view camera settings and choose resolution gate so in default it will be set as 960 into 540 it's too high when we start lighting so you want to reduce little bit so i will angle little bit so go to render settings in common tab you need to choose 640 into 480 so it's really important so after we take our uh, final render settings you will change it to hd so when we start lighting you want to set it into 640 into 480 now go to view and select cam so now you want to select all the camera attributes and right click and choose log selector so now we want to make lighting of our scene so i will take my default render over here so i will select this one and click render so go to render setting you definitely want to change to mental ray so and then i will take my default render over here see here i didn't set any light in my scene but it still shows our lighting so you want to disable this one so i will keep this image for comparison so i will minimize this one so i will select this viewport go to render settings in common tab you go to render options so disable this one enable default light so i will select this view and click render so now you didn't have any light in your scene so now you need to set the lighting so before that i want to apply environment map so for our animation so go to create one on polygon primitives disable the interactive creation so that means when i click on polysphere it will automatically create a center of grid press power and scale big so you want to scale really big so you want to apply surface shader for this one so right click and choose assign new material and choose surface shader so in surface shader you want to rename as vg 01 and press enter click on this out color checker box go to file and filter type to off click on this folder so it automatically go to our source images so we already copy the hdr i map in texturing uh, sorry uh, in modeling we will copy this honda logo and hdr i map so if you miss this one so the link in the description box below this video please download that and extract that file and paste in your hdr i map it's really important so please download the link below this video so i will provide for you so after you download you copy you select this one and click open so okay press 6 in keyboard so now you able to view the uh image plane over here so and here sometimes it will shows that color option so now i select this view 
and click render so now you got that reflection for our objects see here it's really cool so now I want to make lighting for my scene so go to so before that I will open my render view keep this image for comparison so and then you need to add light for our scene so go to rendering click on area light so press R and scale big press E and rotate in this direction so you want to rotate in minus 90 press W and move up so like this so now go to attributes so this one is the area light ambient occlusion so amb underscore occ so enter so go to mental ray option so here you need to go over custom shader in light shader click on this one go to mental ray and here you need to find mib ambient occlusion so i will type mib so click on this one mib ambient occlusion now i want to give samples to 16 so in default i will give maximum distance to 5 i select this view and click render so it's really awesome so but i need to disable this one so over here that ground plane so i will select my ground plane so and then go to polyplane shape one so this one go over here so before that go to outliner i want to rename this polyplane as ground zero one and press enter so i select my ground and go to ground shape one so in render stats so you want to disable this both things visible in reflection visible in refraction so i will keep this image for comparison and click render again so now you got um, black over here so you need to set another light for this one so go to rendering and click on spotlight so go to press R and scale big and go to panels in the spotlight selector go to panels look through selector now you need to adjust so like this press 4 so you are able to see the wireframe so now you want to keep below that logo so you want to keep the light below the logo like this you want to adjust so Q intense to 0 0.2 something or 1 something so you want very mild lighting and go to shadows and disable the um, use ray trace shadow so you want to disable the shadow so I want to make lighting like this so I will open my render view keep this image for comparison and click render again so now you see here we got some lighting so it's really nice so I want to increase little bit more so go to spotlight option so you want to give 0.2 I will keep this image for comparison and click render ok see now our lighting is little bit increased so this is what we expect so now uh, I got perfect lighting of my scene so I will go my perspective view so press 5 in keyboard so I will select this one so before that you want to increase the samples of my occlusion light so I will select this one area light click on this custom shader ambient occlusion so you want to increase the samples to 64 and view maximum distance to 75 so I will keep this image for comparison and click render again okay now we 
got exact shape over here so this is what we expect so now we complete our lighting so in this part in next part we want to make animation click the button to learn part 4 animation